أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بيوت أتقوم برا أزيزة الإسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We are most welcome to fresh edition of another program of Nasfat Half Hour Today has uh, been the uh, 18th day of Ramadan we shall be discussing one of the religious duties that is open for Muslims to take advantage in bringing themselves closer to Allah in this auspicious month of Ramadan. We shall be discussing etikaf. Uh, today in the studio to uh, give us enlightenment as regards this important religious duty towards the end of Ramadan is a member of the National Mission Board of Nasfat a lecturer at the Emmanuel Alayabe College of Education for your state, in fact the head of the Department of Arabic at that College of Education. I have the pleasure to welcome to the studio all the way from the from my state, my brother, Imam Abdul Rahim Adiba Ali Dodo. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for sharing your time to be with us at the studio. Uh, my Imam, what is Etikaf? Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala ahlihi wa asalihi ahalallah Dear Satum, we want to say salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah once again and simply uh, say Etikaf is an act of ibadah that is uh, usually position so come during the month of uh, Ramadan of course as you all know according to the author of uh, book and Ehsan uh, when he says ayat al-mumin kulluhu ibadah that all life of uh, Muslim is uh, act of worship oriented be that as me you want to reason along with me that how is the act of Ibadah that is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in the manner that is in line with the dictate of Quran and the uh, message of Muhammad sallallahu uh, alayhi wa sallam and we are talking of it is a way of uh, keeping yourself in a place, a place that has some qualities and characteristics. And what are they? Then a very clean, a very nice, and a very uh, honorable place for uh, coming in contact with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, because you are now coming to actualize uh, coming in close proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and coming in close proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what we mean as an act of ibadah act of worshipping Allah in a best fitted manner in a way that uh, we project you as somebody who is serious, committed, dedicated, and very devoted. To do all this, you should know what you call ethics of physical. You put yourself in seclusion, keeping yourself away from the world, worldliness, or let me say worldly things. That is, you want to be and be with God and man alone. Okay. You, 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 you want to uh, have a time when you are with God and nobody else, you know, uh, having that opportunity of uh, being with you. Okay. So you want to communicate to God and you want to receive from God. Okay. You want to uh, forward proposal to okay. God. I want to receive. And you want to, you want, you want to receive uh, uh, the result of uh, the proposal of the that you are sending. That is in, talking in terms of approval. Okay. So, and uh, when I say to 
proposal, let me uh, clarify it. Okay. You see, this proposal may be worldly oriented and it may be uh, strictly spiritually oriented. Okay. But you have to let your priority uh, fall on spirituality. Mm -hmm. You have mentioned, before we go to now the ethics of ethical, you have mentioned earlier that ethical can even be done even in your household when you seclude in a special place that is neat, that is quiet, that is dignified. But for the purpose of Ramadan, it is towards the end of Ramadan, the last 10 days of Ramadan. That's the special ethical for the month of Ramadan. Do we have scriptural evidence for that? Yes, the scripturality uh, of uh, ethical uh, is uh, anchored on the injunction of Allah. You see, by the time Allah was uh, communicating to us uh, concerning Ramadan, okay. uh, then at a point in time it said, well, that to act upon the You see, um, act upon the message. Herein, we see act upon. We don't see it at the car. But uh, it say, I think, let me briefly explain. You see, act upon is you are in a position of somebody who is secluding himself who is uh, uh, taking himself away from anything the world. that can distort him okay. from coming in close contact with God. Oh. Now, Archiphon is from, uh, from it we have ethical. Archiphon is a fire. Okay. Uh, the verb of God, uh, the, 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 the main verb. Okay. And then it, it, it stands for the uh, blood of a nation. Okay. Somebody is taking a nation. Okay. And uh, in the uh, grammar, with the same, uh, the present continuous tense, and uh, and then uh, it is having some correspondence, we call it modore, present continuous tense, because of uh, having something in common with now. Okay. Then they 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 say, yeah, attack it, or attack it, or attack it, attack it. Then you see, it is it is it is it is taking from that source. So that is to say, Quran does not use the word ethical, yeah. but it uses a, 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 a derivation. It is derivation. It is derivation. Now, thank you very much. So it, there is scriptural evidence for it, yes. and of course the prophet also practiced it. Yes. Now yes. that yes. that is yes. of the prophet, now that has been established, what are the things? How do we get into ethical? Is what it in the daytime? Is it in the night? How do we get into Is it on the 28th night or on the 21st? How do we get into ethics cup? Then before we have this call about it, ethics or the etiquette of the ethics cup. Immediately on Ramadan is 20th. Okay. The fourth day of the last day okay. marks the beginning of oh, the ethics cup. Okay. Which means your preparation should be between 28th to 21st. Okay. okay. Because the first happens to be the beginning of the last day. Mm -hmm. okay. Then, what concerning time? Uh, it's not a matter of whether it's night or day. Okay. If you choose to, you see, if to, when you want to, geographically, when you want to say, uh, uh, Maghrib is the beginning of the, of, night. Of the night. Okay. And of the new day. Of, okay, of a new day. Of a new day. In Islam. In Islam. Okay. So, if that is the case, it means. Uh, somebody saying it is night, they have their right, that is their profession. Because they are taking it that the new day starts from Madrid. Okay. So uh, that is the impression uh, 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 those people who say it is night, they, they, they have. Okay. So they don't regard it because they cannot start on the day because the day does not come in by 20. Okay. So, and then the evening, from, from the morning, afternoon, evening, for from 28. Okay. But on 21st, to be one of the ten days that is recommended, that is synthetic, that is in line with the uh, the, 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 the practice of the Prophet Muhammad comes on the. Okay. So that okay. is how it is. You enter, so any time from the Muslim, from, from Muslim, you, 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 you yeah, enter. Because the day starts there. Okay. So for viewers at home, brothers and sisters who want to go on ethical, what it means by our calculation, by the night of, uh, by the night of Tuesday, 
which is going to be the, 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 the first day by after uh, the conclusion of fasting, after module of that particular day, a new day starts, which is on the 21st. Then every mutake, somebody who wants to go into the car, should prepare to move in with his intention to perform the car. That is the message I remember is giving out. Now that, is it any kind of mosque that one can do it because the mosque in my neighborhood or is it meant for special mosque? And many things goes into this question. We can say any mosque, but when we say any mosque, it must be a mosque with special position for that. Okay. You see there are mosques where there are specialized rooms. Secluded rooms. Secluded rooms. Okay. Meant for Ibadah. Ibadah. You see, this uh, a mosque that is uh, open. Open. Uh, what well, is not uh, for you to have a bad uh, out of a bad in actuality and reality. Or let me say, it can be because it will be because it will be be told, Okay. There will be you know uh, uh, a discussion with those who are not going to be You go naturally or scientifically respond to similar. Okay. Because of things that you see? Because of things. Okay. You could be, uh, your, your attention could be shifted. Okay. You could be, you could be locked into things. It is what you, you think about. Because your eyes is closely fastened with the brain okay. and the heart. Okay. When you see something, you ponder and wonder. Between pondering and wondering, you could lay. Okay. You could go astray. Okay. You could be that. Your, 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 you can dive from here to, 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 to another. Uh, so that, that means from another of Ibadah, by the time you are ministry, you, you are communicating with God. And even if you, you cannot think of anything, you cannot you talk about anything, you, can, you will not be confined with any other thing. That can be no intervention. Okay. So what we are saying is that any, the most that will be accessible for it to come in. If you are, with one where we have special provision. Okay, with little or no distraction for the one who is within. Uh, well, when we, the way our people are building most, you see, a more that is built without, uh, without professional touch. So we are talking about a, a central mosque. Uh, it is, it, it, it is uh, in line with their own perception. That is the capable of women in hmm. The reason why I say this is that what do you mean by central mosque? It could be central mosque. It will, it will be otherwise. What we are talking of is a mosque with special provision. If central mosque is built in such a way to accommodate such, it can be used. It can be used. To be used. If it is a mosque that is not central mosque, Okay. Oh, that's so, that's it, can it can be used. Yes. I know you are talking about Santa Mosque. Santa Mosque is uh, the meaning. It has, uh, when it is when the Juma and all other activities come there. Yeah. And there's no special mosque that is going to be Santa Mosque. You can make your mosque that is built initially not for Santa Mosque. It can come to uh, Santa Mosque. It depends on activities that is uh, going on there. Going on there. Assalamu alaikum. Nazi Life Party Society, Nafad, is set for its 2015 annual celebration of the Night of Majesty, Lailati Kodre, which inshallah will hold on Friday, 10th of July at Nafad Islamic Center, Asheche Village, Lagos Ibado Expressway, from 10 p.m. till dawn. Erudite Islamic scholar, Professor Abdullah Faith Oladusius from the University of Ibado, and our own Imam Daud Olide will be offering spiritual, inspiring, and thought provoking lecture on parenting. Together with lots of Asikiri, let our spiritual leader, Sheikh Abdullah Akibode, climax of the glorious night with a special Nawafil and prayers for individual participants, families, and the nation. All Muslims are hereby invited to join us at this epoch making event. Bring your entire family and benefit immensely from our annual Laila to Kodre. Nafar created a platform for a religious harmony and spiritual upliftment. Masala. Our viewers at home, if you are just 
joining us. We are discussing a takeoff, and this is NASPA's half hour. Uh, later, the recovery of NASPA will be coming up on the 10th of July, on Friday, where all devotees, NASPA and non NASPA members in the state of Lagos and Ogo will be converging at, at the Ashton Village, NASPA is planning center along Lagos Expressway. I'm sure you know that over the years, NASPA has developed that powerful ministration of, of, of prayer. And that's why we're inviting Muslims all over this state to come around. Let us have a fulfilling time on the 10th of July, Friday, uh, at, from Friday till the early hours of Saturday, 11th of July. And I'm sure you come, you will have a refreshing day and rewarding, spiritually fulfilling time as you come along. That is not all. Uh, it's also important to let us know that as from Tuesday, which is the day coincidentally that Etika will start, NASPAT at the Alausa Headquarters uh, Prayer Center will be having every night till the end of Ramadan as Tahajjud. So for those of you who may not have the opportunity of doing Etika or going on Umrah, you can come in every night, do your Tahajjud and your Ibadah and return home to your, to your office. It is done every, every night from Tuesday night till the end of Ramadan. And it's also important to let us know, if you are paying your zakat towards this end of Ramadan, which is a lovely and rewarding act, you can do so through NASA. The platform for that is NASA Agency for Zakat and Sadaka, Nazar, and the offices that number 9 and 10, CMD Jubilee Road, uh, uh, Lagos, Magodo, Lagos. And for those who want to go and ask, our uh, Umrah forms are closed for now. There are uh, people already there. For so those who take into our call and join us, they are already in uh, there. And uh, for those who want to go and add with us, our uh, offices are at the uh and Travel and Travels Nigeria Limited, 9, 10, CMD Jubilee Road, Magodo, Lagos. And uh, let's return to the issue of uh, uh, ethics now. What are the basic etiquette? I think those are those things that somebody who is an ethical must do and what he should not do. Let us start from what he must do. Well, uh, if you place premium on etiquette of life, you should know that you should observe the ethics of whatever you are involved in and you are engaging in the area of failure. Mostaki, somebody who is uh, coming for out of the bada through Ithaca should first know that when we talk of the bada in Ithaca, the first and foremost thing is Torah. The Torah that is by food, inward and outward. Cleanliness. Cleanliness. Okay. But inwardly and outward. But the intention must be The short. intention must first of all be far away from being worldly, okay. from being materialistic, okay. from being uh, other than to spiritual, to serve Allah. To serve Allah. Okay. And uh, let me come in from this and by saying, uh, intention that we are saying, uh, we have to wish for it. First, we have a son who comes to worship Allah because our master has said, you should worship him. Okay. And if you worship me, you are getting reward. Okay. You want to take this God. Oh, okay. Say by Bada. 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 I worship you. You then give me some message. We the ultimate aim of getting something in town. Okay. But we have some people who move beyond that level. Okay. Like Rabbi Atul Adam used to say, Anna, La Abdullah, and Khaufam, Minna, when I talk about this guy. This guy. When I came, Anna, come to Abdullah, the Anna, we are the Hakim Ibada. Allah, Allah. Wait, uh, some people are worshiping Allah because they are sharing their Empire. own into empire. And some people are worshiping Allah because they want to, they are, they want to, 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 to be an inmate of uh, paradise. But there are other but people who are higher. Who, who, who are higher than that? They say we are worshiping Allah purely and just because he deserves to be worshiped. Or he deserves to be worshiped. To, 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 to be adored. So you are encouraging uh, Musaki now to go to that level. The intention to be so a soul is for Allah. Okay. 
And uh, when we are talking of Ibadah, Khalifa, that is, that is going to be with Islam, pure, that is going to be pure, okay. that is going to be solely for Allah, okay. solely made for Allah, because okay. of Allah, and not because of another thing. We are talking of Islam. And the one who was asked for Allah, Allah was asked for concerning his Islam, he said, I don't know anything about this. Let me have the brief. The brief came. Oh, the brief, what is the meaning of Islam? What is the meaning of Islam? Is it a concept of society? I don't know. Let me ask uh, Mikhail. Mikhail and Kamsa, ah, until I ask Allah Zama Ta'ala. Then Mikhail now uh, consulted Allah. And then Allah said, Sirhu bin Asrari, Noom bin Anwari, Abra Uhu fi Fuwadi min Ashaq min Ibadi min. That is, it is kind of source of illumination. Okay. That I usually specialize some people with preferential treatment among my servants. It's not by the body. It's not by the body. It is when you, you, you uh, request for it. It is when you work for to it. work it. Okay. It, is when, when it is when you labor for it. So, uh, Nia is a person. Your Nia of going to eat a car. No, uh, all this that I have been, I've not been able to accomplish. Uh, I, want, I, want to Go. I, want, I want to use this Go. last ten minutes. Getting this intention clean enough to get to that level. What are the things that they should do? Then activities properly. Activities properly. Yes. It's formal. Uh, activities proper. And even if it's activities proper, it should be activities by excellence. Yeah. Then which is going to be by excellence, it has to be solely it has to solely rest on Quran. Okay. Concentrate on Quran. Then uh, Adhkar, Dua, uh -huh. the 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 the, the, the Okay, something like that. Allah, 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 Yes. Thank you, my mom, for our intending to check it. You now know, please keep your laptop at home. Possibly keep your phone at home. Tell your friends that you are on a retreat, a religious retreat, that will last you for 9 or 10 days. Concentrate. Be in full alertness to commune with your Allah. 10 days out of 365 days that we have it should not be too, I mean, too much that you can spare for Allah. If you still have worldly activities to do, if you can, it's not a good bed for you. That is the message that is coming from our Imam here. And once you are there, it is solely for Allah. With little or no distraction at all. That is the message today. Thank you for listening, for, I mean, watching us. I want to also inform all you that on Saturday, 11th of July, we shall also be having a start with journalists. Uh, it's an annual program of NASA. Those who are concerned, they know themselves. We will be having another one this year at the SCCI Kedja, where we'll uh, make rough minds with the journalists and those who have been projecting that far in the last one year. Uh, before we round up, it's, it's good to thank you, sir, for sharing your time with us, Jazakallah Khairan. Alhamdulillah, coming all the way from my because of this program, is a pleasure. Because a lot of the brothers that we're talking about, but the is a big lot, they're more than Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salamu alaikum. Nazi Life Party Society, Nafaz, is set for its 2015 annual celebration of the Night of Majesty, Lailatu Kodre, which inshallah will hold on Friday, 10th of July at Nafaz Islamic Center, Asheche Village, Lagos Ibado Expressway, from 10 p.m. till dawn. Erudite Islamic scholar, Professor Abdullah Faith on Ladusio from the University of Ibadan, and our own Imam Daud Ulide will be offering spiritual, inspiring, and thought-provoking lecture on parenting, 
together with lots of asikiri, let our spiritual leader, Sheikh Abdullah Akibode, climax of the glorious night with a special nawafil and peers for individual participants, families, and the nation. All Muslims are hereby invited to join us at this epoch-making event. Bring your entire family and benefit immensely from our annual online large recovery. NASFAS created a platform for a religious harmony and spiritual upliftment. Masala.